Well, I'm Batjack JW, and a much requested video that I get all the time, Batjack, when are you going to bring out your Model 29s? Well, here they are, all in the same place at the same time. <laughs> I don't know if we've done this one yet, <laughs> where they're all on the same table. Uh, but here's the end result of somebody that has seen Dirty Harry way too many times. But you know what? I don't think you can... Can you watch Dirty Harry too many times? No, not at all. <laughs> All right, do I feel lucky? I do today. Uh, you know what? I thought today was a great day to do this. I actually just got back from the range shooting this one. This is my shooter that you're looking at here, and this happens to be the very first one that I've ever bought. This Dash 3, 6 inch, is the first 29 I've ever bought. Um, it's got some definite wear and tear on it for sure. I, I actually did the lock up on it myself, replacing the the cylinder lock hand right there and it's spring and doing all that stuff just so that it locks up nice and it does a little bit of play but not too much i mostly shoot 44 specials out of these things uh every now and then i'll throw some magnums down range but uh this one here my very first one this is really sentimental to me because that was my baby uh it still is that's my shooter though that's the one i take if i'm going to shoot that or the uh some of the other ones we're able to take a look at them but anyway second up on the line really uh the eight and three eights here this is a really neat one because it's got that really beautiful long barrel on it eight and three eights uh at first you know i almost thought man i don't know maybe that might be just a bit bit too much but uh it's not bad you can see it's it's not that bad um i like it this one here i've actually uh stretched this out to some distance and was pretty successful at it so but it's gorgeous, I tell you. And then, uh, you know, kind of what, what intrigued me with this one is the movie uh, Taxi Driver, uh, directed by Martin Scorsese. This is what uh, winds up choosing in it. So, really like this one. Got these grips aftermarket. These are some, uh, I believe they're uh, made in Thailand. Grips are made in Thailand there. But, um, yeah. Hopefully the lighting is pretty good here, and this is certainly a gorgeous gun. It's a really gorgeous piece. Of course, you got the hammer-mounted fire, firing pin and all that, so really cool. Yeah, these are a lot of these do live in the safe quite often, and uh, you know they they come out and 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 play every now and then, but most of the time in the safe. Um, all right, then here moving on, I had wound up getting the 629 this one it's a newer one because you can see the key uh, ugly key lock but that don't bother me much i, I really don't care um, it is a frame mounted firing pin as some people freak out about that even though the colt python's been doing that since 1955 but <laughs> but anyhow um, yeah this is a beautiful one it's a stainless gun it's actually stainless it, uh, although it looks like nickel uh, it's been highly polished uh, beautiful gun i love this thing this is a truly fun to take to the range and shooting 44 specials in this one is absolutely just fantastic the grips are not bad although i i will be looking for uh i've always wanted to put some just more traditional grips on this one and see how it looks but although i like it this is a lot of fun and then of course moving on to the last one the last but not least the Dash 2, six and a half, vintage, early 70s. This was the bucket list 29 for me. It really is. Uh, this one is the, the one that I searched for high and low. The pinned barrel, countersunk cylinders, Dash 2. Um, this one stays in the safe. It's a safe queen, you know. And, uh, yeah, this was the one that I certainly... Um, had been looking for and I've got the original grips because this is true a true dirty hairy gun right here um, you're looking at all those uh, flicks this is what you this is what you see right there this is the one six and a half so that's kind of the odd thing so it's a a true older dash two is a six and a half inch barrel and somewhere along the line and I think it's uh, during the later Late, late 70s, they started to discontinue doing that. They chopped the half inch off, and that's where you get the uh, six inch barrel from. 
So kind of weird. You know, you got a variety, even though they're all the same gun, they're all different. You got the eight and three eighths, the six, six and a half, and of course the the three right here. So um, it's all they're all fun, but uh, the, you know they. This is, uh, you know, kind of my collection of Dirty Harry stuff. And I've actually yet to buy one of the true uh, Dirty Harry holsters, shoulder holster. I'm going to actually try to uh, go ahead and do that one day and just get it so it fits out the final collection. I actually thought about buying one of the classic models, um, even though it's it's got all the modern features and everything, you know, the key lock and all that. But uh, I still think, you know what, I'd, I'd love to have one. They give it a shot and, and go for it. You know, I, I this is the one revolver that I gotta say, no matter what, I always, always, every time I go to a, a pawn shop, uh, you know, one of the, a show or anything like that, I, I see them on the table and I just, it's like a magnet. I just go right through it, boom, boom, right there. I'm I'm just staring at it, drooling on it. <laughs> Anyway, well, there they are. Um, you know what a lovely uh, set. I really love them. They're they're fantastic revolvers. Uh, hard to let these go. I, I think uh, you know. I don't think I could ever let them go. You know, it would take an awful lot for me to let let these babies go because they are certainly um, something I really hold a lot of pride into, especially that one right there. Because I've looked for this for a long time, and I was really fortunate to stumble across. It, this in a um, in a shop that uh, the owner there uh, happened to be good friends with, and you know it now it's in my collection. So there it is. Um, my 29 uh, obsession has led me to owning four of them, even <laughs> six 29. But <laughs> there you go. Uh, mostly dash threes, dash two, and actually I'm kind of curious what dash number this is because I really don't know. Dash six. Uh, this is a dash six. But uh, that, this is actually fun. Yeah, I've, I've had, had to have that one. Of course, the story of that and buying that one is uh, already on the channel. So check it out. I'm Batjack JW. Like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in another video.